what up everybody welcome to the show this right here is going to be a gray zone warfare video my first one of many let me tell you right now this game is looking like it is going to be in my opinion the fps of the year and i know that's uh, very bold to say but listen man we're thirsty for it we are thirsty for a game like this this game has every single thing that i've always wanted in a realistic shooter very sandbox open world role-playing type of potential game but that's not what this video is about. A lot of YouTubers have been giving their opinion on the game, you know, what they think it's going to be, comparing it to other games, everything like that. There's been a lot of images released. There's been a couple trailers released. But I want to go into some things you might have missed, some things that you didn't really catch the first time, and some things that I think are going to be in the game, and then some that's going to be a little bit of speculation. So without further ado, let's hop into the first thing here. There's a few images and videos that have been released and clips of the PMCs having something on their vest that I did not catch the first time, but after looking at it, it really grabbed my attention because I was very confused at what it might mean. In the vest of these contractors, they're going to be carrying a lot of different things, magazines, you know, food, water, different stuff like that. But this is something that I hadn't seen before, and I'm not of a military background myself, but I do know a little bit about it. In this image, you see OPOS. Now, in a little bit, you're going to be seeing something else that talks about the health system of the game relies on blood. So I think this PMC is carrying an O positive blood set. All of them that I've seen have said O positive. Haven't seen any that said different, so I could be completely wrong about this. If you have a military background or you know what this is, please set me straight in the comments, okay? But I think the health system and a lot of the medic stuff, there's already been images of the PMCs giving medical attention to the civilians and other PMCs. So if the health system is reliant on blood, it would only make sense that we actually have blood types in this game, and it's going to be the first one that I've seen. I think that's awesome. I think that's something that... uh. If it's true, it's going to obviously be one of the first, first to do it. There's been some other creators that are, they have information that they cannot let out right now. And I think that's one of them. The health system is going to be reliant on having the actual blood type to do transfusions, you know, give blood, things like that for an injured PMC in the field or civilian. Okay. There might be missions like that where you have to give blood to civilians, things like that. And you're going to have to carry it on you. You might be able to give blood from yourself if your PMC blood type matches you know, an ally or a squad, you know, squad mate, things like that. I'm, that's a little bit speculative, but I, I'm, I'm 90% sure that's what that is. And if that's true, I think that's groundbreaking. Let's move on to weaponry. You're going to see this guy be carrying, it looks like an M4 platform, 5.56 platform, and he pulls his charging handle back. And a lot of people can't appreciate this, but I do. I'm messing with firearms my whole life. The dust cover on the weapon actually falls down. In other games like Escape from Tarkov, things like that, you, you can have all this motion and stuff, but there's, the actual dust cover is not visible on the gun to be falling down like that and stuff like that. So a lot of detail there. If you don't know what a dust cover is, basically when, when you're firing or you're checking it, what you have in the chamber here, it's going to fall because you have to see inside of it or the bullet has to eject, right? Well, the dust cover is just to cover the chamber from getting dust and dirt and debris in it so it, it closes. So when you're moving through you know, the forest and stuff like that, you keep it covered to keep it clean, basically. Another thing in this video that I haven't seen, it's not really that big of a deal, is he actually hits the Ford Assist on his weapon. I don't know if he's having trouble with it, if it's damaged or anything like that, but he hits the Ford Assist to make sure the round chambers, you see him hit it with his thumb a few times, which I think is really cool and very detailed. The last thing you see in this clip is the actual UI popping up of him carrying a 5.56 round, which is M855, which is a pretty standard round for this platform. Escape from Tarkov has something similar. The next clip, and going back to what I was saying about the blood, there's going to be a few things on the bar down here on your UI when you're looting. I'm assuming it's going to be your tab menu, basically. You're going to have your blood, going back to my theory on the blood, the blood sets and the blood types and things like that. But you're also going to see intoxication and radiation. They have not shown anything with gas masks, hazmat suits, or any type of protection against that type of stuff. There's an actual bar for it here. So I'm pretty positive stuff like that's going to be in the game. On to the next thing here. And this is a little bit of speculation, but I did notice this. They've released the traders, all the names, the images, the UI, and the menu of what it looks like. Every trader until today had a tactical device tab on your menu. They have never clicked on that tactical device tab. We don't know what it is. If the game is trying to go towards more of a role-playing type of genre, I'm assuming that tactical device is going to line up with, with different types of stuff like recon, medic, you know, uh, demolition, door kicker type stuff, and separate the classes of your, of your squad of four. 
that's what I'm assuming that tactical device would be if you wanted to pick it. But it doesn't really matter because on the video they released today, Handshake, and they showed the mission of Rat's Nest, it's actually not on his menu. Tactical device is not there. So I don't know if we're just on a different menu or if they took it out altogether. Either way, I'm pretty curious about what that was. Now let's go on to the legal rights of using the weapon attachments brand names. A lot of games do this where they, they don't get the rights to use, and a lot of them I've found out they don't even ask to use the actual trademarked company on their weapons. Escape from Tarkov actually does this. They, to the best of my knowledge, is named the same name as the actual device it represents. So in one image here, we have Vortex. Vortex is a very, very popular optics brand. It's used on pretty much anything, any hunting rifle, any sniper rifle. You, you can put a lot of their different scopes and use it for different reasons. They have, you know, high magnification scopes and they have small scopes, red dots, things like that. So in this image, we actually see a Vortex scope. I don't really know the power we're dealing with here. It looks like a pretty, pretty strong scope, but we're dealing with a Vortex scope. That is a legitimate company. I have a Vortex scope. I have actually a few. Also in this image, you can see the EOTech icon. EOTech is a very popular red dot holographic site company. They make probably the best. They're the standard for that. The icon you see, the E, is actually the exact EOTech icon. I'm not going to put that in here. You can look it up yourself. But if you zoom in closer, at least to me, it, look, it looks like it says SoTech, not EOTech, which I thought was pretty confusing. If you go on to the next clip here, it looks like we have an aim point micro t2 red dot reflex sight i also have one of these in real life that is what it, the brand is that is the name of this little red dot but in the game here the micro label on the bottom is accurate but the brand name for it is axe point so my theory on this is they got some of the rights to use the actual brand and then some they haven't or maybe it hasn't cleared yet i have no idea no idea what's going on there but it's a little bit inconsistent and that really kind of threw me off Another thing about this video is he actually has a 30 round PMAG. It looks like he's got green tips in it, shooting, shooting a 5.56 again. And he's actually, instead of checking the chamber and all that again, he's actually pulling the mag to see what he has in his magazine. That's why he tilts it back, because on these magazines, there's actually usually a little hole at the bottom to, to show that it's full or very close to full. So that is why he's holding it this way and then putting his magazine back, which I thought was very good. That is actually accurate. Now let's get into the next one here. The intel. A lot of these missions are going to be talking about going in, getting intel, things like that, extracting with it, whatever the case may be. It seems here we have a squad trying to get out of a hot area, and the briefcase here is their intelligence that they're trying to bring out, which I thought was pretty cool. They've already said there's going to be multiple forms of intelligence that you can get, but it's pretty cool to see the actual briefcase right here. Let's talk a little bit about weapon customization. Here we have an image that was released that actually has an Elkan Spectre. It's probably a 1x4 or 1x6 scope, kind of multi-purpose scope, and then a flashlight on the rail, but it also has an ambidextrous handle, which I thought was really sexy. Very beautiful. So it seems like there's going to be some sort of depth to weapon customization that I'm really excited about. This is another one that I thought was kind of cool that I did not catch any clips from in any of their trailers, but this is a cinematic shot of a PMC pulling another PMC away from a burning vehicle, whether he's unconscious, injured, or even dead. It's pretty cool that you're able to drag the bodies if that's going to be a mechanic in the game. I think that's going to be huge, especially in a genre like this. Being able to hide the down teammates' bodies while they spawn back in within the hour that they've mentioned being able to get back to your body and loot yourself. Or if there's some type of insurance or something where you can hide the body, that's going to be an absolute game changer. Now, this could just be some type of cinematic shot that doesn't actually show functionality of the game. I doubt that. I believe it's going to be in the game. EA Sports. This next image isn't really that special, but the title of it threw me off. In the files, the title of this image is titled Medic. And what you see here is a PMC actually kneeling down beside a civilian, and he could be administering some type of medical aid. If there's going to be a system like that and even missions to go along with it, I think that's going to be pretty cool as well. So if you made it this far, it obviously proves you do not have TikTok brain, so I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I will catch you all in the next video. I appreciate the support. Thank you.